I love to play soccer because there's so many different ways to play the game and there's no set plays so it's always different each game. Um, I love to play soccer because it helps me like I guess de-stress like when I am like I guess really angry or something it just helps me like get rid of my emotions I guess. I love to play soccer because it's really challenging and every game is different and you can always work on something. I have to play soccer since I was really little. And it's just something I really enjoy to do. So I guess this is kind of one of those things that's like my go-to. So. Team player, you gotta have sportsmanship, good attitude, and you have to work hard all the time. You put the team's best interests or another teammate's interests before your own or before your own success. You're always supporting each other and you're never being rude on the field. And if someone has a better shot than you do, you pass it to them, you're not selfish with the ball and you're always looking for to like work together as a team rather just to do it by yourself. A good example would be Dominique Robinson. She is nice to everyone like throughout the whole season. She works hard in every single game and when she pushes someone down because she's a beast, she doesn't show how mad she is. She doesn't really give a lot of credit for what she does and she doesn't really mind if she does or not, but then she's always like working hard and like giving up the ball to players that she sees like have the best opportunities on the field. Freshmen are really, really fast, and it's kind of cool to have them on the team because it's great to meet new people. And as me, a freshman myself, it's cool. And the, what they bring is like fresh talent, fresh legs. It's they're just fresh and young, and they're adorable. <laughs> so we have two freshmen on the team this year, and I'd say Kaylee's main contrib contribution would be speed on the offensive line and Brenna's main contribution would be intensity because she knows as her place as a freshman that like it's starting time isn't guaranteed and she's willing to work hard for it especially on and off the field and she's always like pumping up the team with her intensity and like inspiring us to be as intense as she is. Our team is very uh, diverse to say the least. Uh, some of us can run super fast, uh, some of us are very strong, some of us kick very far. And it's really awesome to have that mixture rather than 11 fast people on the field with who just don't pass or 11 people on the field who all can kick very far but can't run. So it, it's great and it helps us get assists, get plenty of goals and it's, it's really great to be on a team that has I feel like um, how everyone is good at other things really helps us come together as a team. So there's people who are really good at defense, and so that really helps us when we're playing defense against another team, and then there's other people who are really good at offense. So that helps us get it up the field, like the ball up the field. And I feel like there's other people who are really good at both of them, so that helps us in the midfield. And I feel like everyone brings something special to the team, so that really helps certain players stand out against other teams, and it just kind of you know, it looks great as a team when we can all play together and we can all work together too. Soccer is a sport where you need everyone to work together really well. So like if you're stuck in the midfield, you, you can never get it up to the forwards to score. If you get stuck in the defense, you can never get it to the midfielders who have to give it to the forwards. So to work together is really a key component to the game. So in my freshman year, last year, he got pulled up to varsity and during tryouts when he was calling out the names for varsity and he said my name, it honestly was like the best feeling you know that I worked hard for that and I got on a team for varsity for freshmen, like it was awesome. And then after I worked hard, I didn't start in the beginning, but after I worked hard and got up there in the rankings, I ended up starting and it was just an awesome feeling. Starting on varsity my freshman year was something that I've never obviously done before. And it was a new experience and it was very exciting. It was probably one of my most exciting things that I did that year. So it was cool to learn how to play high school and starting really helped my game. So when I made varsity my freshman year, it was a really big decision for me. 
because I wasn't sure if I wanted to stay in JV and get a lot of playing time or be on varsity and risk not starting. And it ended up I did get on varsity and did start. And I feel like that really helped me grow as a player. Um, I become more confident in my playing and I become more, I guess, skilled overall. And I just think it was one of the greatest decisions I've made of my soccer career because I feel like if I stayed back, I would have played a lot, but I don't think I would have improved as much as I did as being on varsity my freshman year. So my freshman year, I was really nervous going into tryouts. I really just wanted to be on varsity and I wanted to play with my sister. That was a big deal. And so when I made varsity, I was really excited. I wasn't expecting much, but then I ended up starting and that was amazing to me because I got to play with my sister for an entire season and we ended up doing really well. So that was a big accomplishment for me. Um, I did not expect to make varsity as a freshman. Um, I was told that he didn't put any freshman on varsity and I'm like, okay, I can just play for an awesome coach that I had before and everything will be good. But then I was a freshman at varsity and it was really intimidating. I st started my first varsity soccer game and it was, it was, it was kind of scary. I was the smallest one on the field and it was, I, I was, I was timid and shy and it was, it was a really weird experience, but it helped me grow, and in the end, it's awesome because I, I did something that not a lot of people get the opportunity to, and I've met so many cool people who have, uh, who have graduated already, and I see people I've played with since freshman year, and it's, 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 it felt really good. It, it feels awesome to know that I, I have that kind of talent that I didn't know I, I had. My teammate, um, Kenzie Compton, she also made varsity as a freshman with me. And me and her have been this close for forever. And it's going to be so sad to see her leave. And it's, it's, it's really cool. And it's really cool knowing that I'll have been on the team for all, 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 all four years of high school and that I'm going to be the only <laughs> senior to have to attend that, so that, that feels really good. It feels really good to meet new people. Soccer is something that I'm very passionate about, so when I made the team my freshman year, I don't think I've ever been more excited than being able to build relationships with some of the girls that were seniors uh, my freshman year and then other girls on the team, and I also think my freshman year I was able to gain a lot of experience that has helped me up until this point. Coach Mark, he is an awesome coach. He He's one of those coaches that's chill. He doesn't ever yell at you. It's really nice. And to practice, he always has something new. You don't really play the same thing over and over again. Coach Mark is a really good coach, and as a result, you can see that he's like led us to a district championship last year, a conference championship this year. So always motivating the team to do better and teaching us in practice how we can improve our skills. Coach Mark, he's a lot more mellow than the other coaches that I've had. The other coaches kind of yell at you and bring you down, but his mellowness really brings positive influence to the team. Our team works really good together in pushing for the same goal, which would be to win more championships and put more plaques on the wall in the gym. And we also push each other very much to do better during practices and games, especially Lauren DeShane on and off the field. Um, our team is very strong this year, but in the past two years we have faced some of the hardest teams in our conference, which are Forest Hills Northern, Forest Hills Eastern, and of course the wide amounts of injuries we have, and that can pose uh, problems and challenges, but it, it really makes us work harder and stronger, and we grow as a team because of it, and we overcome any challenges that come to us. That good. So far, our biggest challenge is definitely Forest Hills Northern. They've been our rival in just this past year. Last year, we beat them in district finals. It was the first time ever. It was an awesome feeling. And we're just trying to keep that going. Just keep on beating them. That's definitely our biggest challenge. Our biggest challenge in the beginning of the season was starting to really play like a team and as a unit where as it went, the season went on and went on, it's starting to get better. I feel like um, 
The biggest challenges our team has faced is, I guess, coming together as a team in like the beginning of the season, because like in the beginning we're all kind of with our own friends and we're not really like we act as a team, but sometimes I feel like we need to bond closer together. And I feel like this year we've done a lot better at like coming together and being more of a team, you know, instead of I guess being on our own or being selfish. So, so some of the challenges are like Northern, they're pretty much our biggest competition in our conference, in our district. And I think that sometimes we get comfortable in games when we're up like 2-0 and we'll get like just lazy and then they'll come, teams will come back and we're not expecting it. So always staying on our toes is sometimes a challenge. My advice to upcoming soccer players on the varsity or JV team is not to take it too seriously. You can just get down on yourself and try out but just have fun. It really helps the game and like how the team plays. So for the girls that are coming up to our team, really want to say you guys got to work really hard try to get that starting position because starting it's really an awesome feeling and knowing that you worked hard is a really good accomplishment and also show who's boss on the field especially against northern because that's our rivals to be confident if you're scared of failing or if you're scared of messing up you're never going to go anywhere in life because making mistakes is what makes you better so if you're too afraid to get out there and like play your hardest in a game, then you're never going to learn how to improve or how to get better and how to be a better team player. Is to keep working hard. I play soccer three, three seasons out of the year, so about nine to ten months. And it's great. If you want to keep playing soccer, you should play club. It's amazing. And I've met so many new people. So when I play other schools, like I'll be like, oh, hey. And it's really fun seeing like, new people. And I guess just, just keep playing and keeping strong because you're only going to meet awesome people and have awesome experiences, like winning conference and districts.